So have you ever seen a butterfly so rare and so unusual that it's worth $500? Today you will. Hey, let's go check it out. All right, so here I have an Eastern Tiger Swallowtail, but this is no ordinary butterfly. This is actually what is known in the scientific community is a bilateral gynandromorph, uh, which to greatly simplify means it has the coloring of a female Tiger Swallowtail on one side and a male Tiger Swallowtail on the other side. Now, something like this is incredibly rare. Uh, you only see a bilateral gynandromorph in about one in every 10,000 butterflies. This butterfly in particular is not just a bilateral gynandromorph. It's actually a bilateral gynandromorph between a male tiger swallowtail and a dark form female tiger swallowtail. Now, let me show you why that's important. Over here, I have a cage of female tiger swallowtails. Now, this is a light form female tiger swallowtail, while this is a dark form female tiger swallowtail. Now you can see why a gynandromorph between a light form male and a dark form female would be so much more impressive. Um, instead of being about a one in 10,000 chance, this gynandromorph is actually about a one in 20,000 chance. Now to give you an example of just how rare that is, if you looked at a tiger swallowtail every day of every summer of every year, you would only see one of these dark form gynandromorphs once every 219 years. Now, if you're like me, you're probably asking yourself, how is something like this even possible? Well, we're gonna try to answer that question. The bilateral gynandromorph is not possible for most classes of animals, including mammals, but it is possible for arthropods. And the reason for that is a certain trait they have in their early development. Most organisms start out as a single fertilized cell called a zygote. Now, once that original cell begins to split, it splits into two, and then those two split into four, those four into eight, uh, those eight into 16, and so on, in a process that's called mitosis. Now, in most animals, those cells as they divide can be used wherever they need to be used. But in arthropods, those cell divisions are what's called determinate, which basically means they have a preset destination from the very beginning that's set in stone that can't be changed. So think about it like this. When that first cell divides into two new cells, the cell on the right will become the entire organism on the right side, while the cell on the left will become the organism on the left side. If there's a mistake in the copying process, that mistake will continue down in a chain for that entire side of the body. So, in the case of a gynandromorph, if the mistake happens early enough in development, it can actually infect the entire side of the body. So the left side can be one thing, while the entire right side is another. And that is how it is possible to have a bilateral gynandromorph. This is literally a once in a lifetime butterfly. And I'm so excited to be able to show it to you today. And I hope you've enjoyed this as much as I have. As always, thanks for watching. If you have questions, leave them in the comments. John the Butterfly Farmer, saying so long. If you've enjoyed this episode of The Butterfly Farmer, make sure and subscribe to our channel so you can join us in the future as we explore the amazing world of nature all around us. Thanks for watching, so long.